OK, then, it's time to have a look at our rules. Rules are the next thing that we need to set, and we need to set our global rules. Global rules are the sort of overarching rules that the station uh, scheduler will look at. And then in clock rules, we can then sort of uh, just tweak them slightly and uh, make them more specific per clock or per range of clocks. So we've opened up our uh, global rules. By default, there won't be any rules here, but uh, I've created one earlier, a new default. We've got a reference area and then a description area, so a shorter reference code, and then you can put in a longer description. You can have just one global rule if you want, or you can actually have uh, as many as you want. Just uh, experiment, really. Try with one global rule and uh, try and experiment from there. It might be that some clocks, some shows require the global rule to be slightly different. So what have we got here? Let's uh, just minimize this and uh, take a proper full look at this page here. So the first one that's opened is our song category rules. And uh, this gives us a breakdown of all our song categories. These are the ones that are in by default. And uh, we currently have selected the A list. And uh, we can see already in the left hand corner here that it's uh, searching down 50% in the deck of cards, if you imagine them like a deck of cards. It's, it's searching down half of that um, before it then decides to leave a song unscheduled. So it's 50% of 16 items. So we've got 16 songs in there, got 15 in the B list and 18 in the C list you'll see here, and then uh, zero in the rest. So it's really handy to be able to see how many of each cat song you got in each category. Gives you an idea of whether or not you're going to need to search a bit deeper or not. Obviously, you can tweak these around if you're finding that you schedule and you're finding that uh, a lot of songs are unscheduled. You might want to set the category search depth a little bit deeper than the 50%, which is the default value. Uh, to do that, you just ha head over here to the category search depth, make sure the current rules and then the uh, category that you want to change is in brackets here. And then you can just uh, tweak on that and uh, just type in 60%. And uh, you do have a choice between 60% and the number of items. It may be easier just to leave it as percentage, and then that way that will change uh, dependent on how many items you got in that category, because uh, else you could find yourself in a bit of trouble. So then 60%, we've changed that one too, and these are the rules that uh, get set by default. And uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll take a look at those and uh, you can always find out more about each rule by clicking on it and then you see down here in this window this gives you a, a little bit of help um, as to what it's all about really so what have we got here we've got a, a variety of rules down here you can see that it's a rule and we've also got a couple of guides now rules can't be broken but guides can be and you can set the same rule as a guide multiple times with it kind of maybe loosening off as you get further down in the order because these are in order of importance of the, the rules that you want to um, apply and also the guides that you want to apply. So we're just going to take a little look here at uh, the ones that are on by default and uh, then we'll also show you how you can add some more in there. So uh, the rule at the top here, song type follow, and you can see in brackets that it's written global rule. So this means that this is a rule that you set within the global rules manager, as it were. And then uh, you see this one below is down as clock rule. And that's something that you set in as part of a clock rule, unsurprisingly. So then this song type follow, it's saying, look at this. And uh, what we can actually do is down here, we can see here the uh, song type rules. And uh, if we just click on the, the plus here, we've got, I've added it in a couple of types. And you can see here that uh, we've got boy band, heavy and manufactured. And uh, this is basically saying that uh, when there's a boy band track played, um, these ones are allowed to follow it. So it might be that we only want one boy band track played before it moves on to something else. So we don't want two boy bands back to back, as it were. So we can uh, change that for heavy. We might not want uh, two heavy tracks back to back. 
and we might not want to manufacture it. Actually, I'm going to leave that one on uh, manufactured. I think that's going to be fine for, for our station. So if we uh, go back, it basically means that the rules that we've set here are going to be applied to songs in our A list. And uh, what's it going to do if it fails? It's going to leave the song. So if the song fails because it's another boy band or another heavy after it's already scheduled one, it's basically going to leave it at the top of the deck. So the next time that an A-list song is called for, that one could will be up for consideration. You do have the options if you double click on it here you do have the options to change what to do if it fails randomly throw it down the deck throw it down the normal amount down the deck or send it to the bottom of the deck so uh, there are your choices you can also change here that it's treated as a guide uh, rather than a rule so uh, there you go that's what you can do here and it does give you a little bit here use this rule to say which song types can follow each other so it kind of gives you a little bit of an item and that's uh, uh, an idea and that's what you can see down here too uh, song type min max in a row that uh, basically means how many songs of a given given type can or must be played in a row and that is something that you set as part of a clock rule. So we'll look at that later. Again, you've got the usual fail here. You've got song gender follow. That's something that we set here in global rules. So uh, song gender, there we go. And again, it's all to do with uh, what can follow what. So uh, here we're saying uh, a, a boy track can, can play another boy track. And uh, so, it's all to do with whether or not you want these to follow on. I'm quite happy for there to be a couple of boy tracks in a row, a couple of girl tracks in a row. It all depends on how you want to run it. So that's the song gender follow. Uh, the song gender min max in a row. Again, that is something that's done in a clock rule, which we'll take a look at. Era follow. That's something that we need to set down here. Song era. So again, I've added some eras, 80s, 90s, noughties, 10s, and I've bunged in the 70s here as well. And uh, just to decide what can follow what. It's all to do with uh, how your running order, how your clock will be formatted. So that's era follow. Era min max in a row is a clock rule we'll take a look at. Song characteristics follow. Again, we go down here, characteristics. And remember, we set those uh, characteristics of tempo and mood. This is where you would set where if you didn't want a very, very fast manic song being able to go into a very slow song. So if we didn't want that, we could untick that and uh, we might even not want it to go into a slow song. Uh, whereas if we were playing a very slow song, song, we likewise wouldn't want it to suddenly jump to a very fast and manic song. So you might just want to sort of trim that, trim those out uh, around just to make sure that the music flow is not too radical, not slow and then fast, then slow, fast. You may want to make it kind of a bit more um, of a kind of a level playing field and nothing too surprising. Depends on how, what sort of radio station you're programming for, of course. And that's the characteristics follow rules. And so that's been set there. And you've also got the song characteristics min, max, and the, the sum in a row, which we'll take a look at as part of uh, the clock rule. Uh, force items from a specified year, that's something that you set in the clock. So uh, again, if you're wanting to do a uh, golden year, golden hour, kind of oh, all the songs are from a certain year, that's what you would set in the clock. We'll take a look at clocks later on. Our date restrictions, that's something that that you set in this song link card. You saw the restrictions earlier that we did on the uh, Daniel Bedingfield track. So that's basically saying, uh, take notice of those. So you, that is on by default. And if it does break it, it is uh, chosen to randomly throw it down the deck. Song separation. This is a uh, time between plays, and this is for that particular song itself. And uh, at the moment, by default, it's set to two hours. And if it comes back up, been told to randomly throw it down you can see here it's uh, around two hours song title separation so this is the actual title of the song which uh, could could be two completely different songs but both with the same title so that's what the song title separation is uh, all about and that's a rule there time between play is two hours artist separation and artist group separation now the artist group separation that is uh, all done up here as part of artist groups 
and uh, it may be that you've got uh, an artist group which is say um, Genesis and so you've got Genesis you've got Phil Collins you've got maybe Peter Gabriel in there too and uh, you wouldn't you you want those kind of treated all as one group and so that way it won't get uh, won't get kind of played too much you won't hear a Phil Collins followed by a Peter Gabriel followed by um, a Phil Collins track so uh, that's what artist groups are all about you put a name in and then you add in the artist names here so artist group separation is set to two hours there and then the final rule that we've got here is the song styles min max in a row and again that's saying that that's set at the clock rule level and then we've got a couple of guides here uh, now remember guides can be broken so we've got a guide here for if the song was played yesterday or tomorrow at a similar time and what we're saying here is a given overlap of 120 minutes which is sort of two hours so if an item went out at 12 30 then it won't be played tomorrow or the day before between 10 30 and 2 30. So that way it just makes makes it that uh, if anyone tunes into your station sort of regularly uh, at a lunchtime, for example, that they won't always hear the same song. So uh, that's a guide. That one can be broken. And there's also drive time protection here as well, just to make sure that um, we, we've, we've done drive of uh, the breakfast show and the afternoon drive time show. And uh, an item will only be scheduled during the earlier period if it isn't used in the later period on the last weekday or today so uh, it kind of just makes sure that it keeps those two fresh so if you're listening as you drive in and drive home from work that uh, the, the songs are different and mixed up but again that's only as a guide and that can be broken and uh, so these rule sets are the same for every one of these categories at the moment so what if you want to change or modify or add or delete some rules well that's all done down using these icons down the right hand side here and uh, what you can do is you can change the order that these rules appear in so you can highlight a rule and then click on this up and down arrow and that moves their order in the uh, in the rule sets here you can uh, highlight this one and we can click on delete and that will remove the selected rule if you want to add one in then uh, we can click on the plus here and that shows all of our rules we've got some general rules some timing rules and uh, we can see see what we've got set here anything that's grayed out like this that's already been set that's already in our rule set and anything that's a, a little bit lighter here in a sort of a lighter darker black that means that that's a rule that we could apply if we wanted to and we've got timing rules here song title and song rules so there's a stack of stack of rules there's uh, more details about the rules in the um, in the help document that's available and also in the help help menu as well explains a little bit further about the artist group but as you can see there is a huge number of rules that you can apply uh, should you wish and uh, just sort of play around and tailor it to your specific station